In this video, I'll walk you through five quick tips for LinkedIn 2020. Firstly, we'll look at how you can add a cover photo to your LinkedIn company page. Secondly, we'll look at options around sharing posts on LinkedIn. Thirdly, various choices you have for liking a post on LinkedIn. Fourthly, we'll look at the advert preferences you can choose from. And finally, we'll look at LinkedIn groups. Here we go. In this video, I'll walk you through how to add a cover photo to your LinkedIn company page. Here we go. So from your LinkedIn profile, click on me, go to your company page, go to this one here. And here you can see, add a cover image to your page. Recommended size is 1,128 by 191. You can use a tool like canva.com for free to uh, have templates for particular LinkedIn photos. Or you can try and manually add it in there. So I'll just look through to find a suitable image. Go to uh, C. I'll select this file and you can see you can drag it to reposition so that it fits nicely and then say save. So that's it, that's the process for adding a cover image on LinkedIn. In this video we'll walk through how you can share posts on LinkedIn to your network. Here we go. Okay so scrolling through my newsfeed I found this article that I want to share. Actually, first of all, there's an option to send. If we click send, that can go to either a single person in my network or multiple people. You just type the first couple of letters of the names and you can pick them out and add a message to it optionally as well. So that's sending a message. So that goes privately via the messaging service. But if you go for share, you see from the drop down, it's to you. But you could post as one of the pages you represent. I represent a number of pages here, so I could post as PR Wilson Media, for example. I go back. I could share to anyone, anyone plus Twitter, because that account is linked to my LinkedIn. Just do my connections and the new one is to group members so I can actually share to for example my free social media training group and then I can think about adding a message as well add a hashtag so I'll add social media And then hash content marketing, and what I'll do useful optimum times, and then we'll say. post one last option to look at there is the option to go to advanced settings and you can allow comments or not so you have the choice of enabling that or disabling it so that's uh, the idea of posting and sharing that post on linkedin when you see a post in the news feed on linkedin if you double tap on it on the like button you can get a range of different options i'll take you through those in this video here we go so here's an example post uh, by a networking contact and if you hover over it you can see options so thumbs up that's the standard like celebrate commemorate something love insightful and curious those are the five reaction types you can get on LinkedIn if you change to any of these you can 
convey different emotions. So really straightforward to do, worth using them more and more frequently. You get an idea of how many of each type of reaction. Uh, so 13 celebrates, 12 loves, one insightful. You can see who those people are. So really gives you a good way to get more engagement with your audience. That's the reactions on LinkedIn for likes. In this video, I'll walk you through the LinkedIn ad preferences where you can specify the kinds of adverts you want to see. Here we go. So you just need to go to your drop down menu, select settings and privacy, and then select ads. The first category is general advertising preferences. So these top two control how certain ads appear to you. Can LinkedIn use your profile photo information? So it just gives you a, if you work for that company thing, you can turn that off. Interest categories, see more relevant jobs based on your activities. So there's certain interest categories that you can specify that you want to see. At the moment, they're all selected sales. They, nope. And then I can learn more about LinkedIn ads and go through them all. So that's the first part and data collected on LinkedIn. See more relevant promoted jobs based on your connections. Again, I'll just turn those off. Based on where you're located might be more interesting. Um, so I'll leave them on for now. Demographic data, age and gender. Again, you can so you can really limit the impact of the ads you may have to see on LinkedIn. But bear in mind that LinkedIn is trying to learn from your profile to understand the best adverts to show. There's more categories: as companies you follow, groups, education. I mean, if education's not relevant, you can just deselect aspects of those perhaps leave skills on that's a more current thing and the final section so third party data audience insights so the websites you visit good LinkedIn use that and I'll turn those off ads seen further beyond LinkedIn so essentially you're telling LinkedIn that your behavior, for example, beyond LinkedIn, you are allowing um, ads to be shown to you, whether or not you're logged into LinkedIn. So that's an interesting one. I think I'll leave that turned off. Interactions with businesses. So there's a huge amount you can take control of here. And uh, obviously you can adjust going forwards depending on what your circumstances are. If you're looking for work suddenly, then you may be more open to particular types of adverts. LinkedIn groups can be a useful resource to getting to know people around your area of expertise. I'll show you how you can use some of the features in this video. Here we go. So to access groups, you need to go to your work menu and then select groups from the menu options there. Now, you may not have joined any groups, but in this case, I've got some shown here. One that I'm a neat, the owner of the group, others that I'm a member of, and then one that I'm a manager of. So we go through to a group. So I've created one around my social media training. And you can see when it was founded, how many people are involved. You can see the profiles of each of the people. So that's a useful thing once they're a member of the group you can see more about them as ways suggested here three suggestions is it associated with an industry a location and go and share the group so you can just post out to the feed and let them know it's happening you can share video content you can share photographs you can share documents into the group and 
we've got certain articles so that's all the articles then recommended the ones that you can specify they should look at the alarm bell there lets you know what kind of notifications you want so you can get all the new posts any highlights or just switch that off and let's go to edit well first we'll go to manage group if we have any requests to join they would appear here and you can view those you can see who the admins of the group are you can obviously have multiple admins anybody who's been invited and if you want to resend them again you can simply so if you want to remove them not resend you can rescind those membership invites and if we go back now it says it doesn't require approval at the moment so you need to edit the group settings so that instead of anyone just randomly posting you can specify require new posts to be reviewed by admins and also you can determine whether they're allowed to invite their friends to the group or not it depends on the level of trust you have with the group and whether it's a public group listed or unlisted <laughs>